welcome back friends. This is Patty Bennett with pattystamps.com. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I am here to share with you a quick tip about die cutting these sweet little butterflies. If you watched my previous video about die cutting the larger butterflies, you'll know that I used waxed paper and a dryer sheet. I'll link to that video right up here. It's really helpful when you're die cutting these larger intricate butterfly dies. We've had Stampin' Up! has offered these dies now for several months and then these two are new in the 2015 catalog and this one is actually fairly small. You can see here that it's pretty tiny and I wanted to give you a tip on die cutting them. This is the card I was making kind of fun, right? And I was using a piece of this Color Me Irresistible paper and I put down my wax paper and then I put down, I actually have two sets of the butterfly dies just so I can cut them faster. So I put those down and then these lift off very easily right off of the magnetic platform and the plate but then you'll see that you have you know a few little extra pieces in there and I wanted to show you what my secret weapon is for super quickly getting those out I grabbed out of my paintbrush selection this is like the oldest cheapest ickiest brush it's probably one of those ones that's about two or three for a dollar at the dollar store it's very stiff that's what you want is something just stiff bristles not it this is not a nice watercolor brush and you just do this and look all those little pieces just pop out so here are the little pieces I do that over a garbage can usually and then you can just pull that right out of there and just slide the wax paper part off and there you have it if you have a couple of extras you can just um, you know kind of wipe those away but they all just basically come out super easy so this die did not actually require the um, dryer sheet so I just wanted to show you that I hope you enjoyed that quick tip I just thought that made it so easy to die cut these sweet little butterflies and I did want to show you the paper that I used for the butterflies I could have just used the watermelon wonder cardstock but I wanted something just a little more shimmery so I used this piece of watermelon wonder color me irresistible paper and you can see here as I'm tilting it in the light that it has these nice little embossed dots on there this package actually comes with five white sheets and then five excuse me six white sheets and six colored pieces and all of them have some sort of an embossed design these you can color on you can use a brayer a sponge a marker a spritzer and then these are already colored for you so that's the sheet that I selected to use for the butterflies just so that they had a little extra something to them they have these little shimmery spots on them Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you'll subscribe if you aren't already subscribed to my channel. You can do that right up here. And if you'd like to visit my blog, I always have the link right up here at pattystamps.com. If you need any of the supplies you've seen me use today, please order from my blog. You can just click the online shopping button at pattystamps.com and that will take you to my online store. Leave me a comment if you have any questions, and be sure to give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.